Hello everyone, my name is Ofer Steinberg and I'm the architect and methodologist for the Accelerated Verification Team in Cadence. So, you are a verification engineer. You created a UVM verification environment, you run your test, you go out to lunch, but when you come back it's not finished yet. Maybe your test is too long and it takes one or two or three days to complete. What are you going to do? Who are you going to call? You need acceleration. And acceleration means accelerated verification IP. And this is the topic of our whiteboard discussion today, accelerated verification IP. What's the difference between a verification IP and an accelerated verification IP, or AVIP, as we call it for short? Well, a VIP is aimed for advanced verification. It has detailed checks, fine controls, and gives you, up, gives you a signal level controls of your verification environment and your interface. It is aimed for block level verification, while an AVIP is aimed for subsystem or system level of verification. You don't care so much about the low level details of the bus protocol. You have little timing control, you have less controllability, and typically you want just to send and receive transaction, you work in a transaction level. An AVIP also has a separate and different compile flow from the VIP because the AVIP is compiled and designed to run on the Palladium emulator. Running on the emulator gives you a much, much better performance. How much better? Well, could be 100x faster, could be up to 1000x faster in some conditions. An accelerated verification IP is designed and optimized for performance, so you need to trade off some of the detailed verification capabilities in a VIP. But how would you create a verification environment that is ready for acceleration. Here is some tips and tricks. Here on the whiteboard, we see a typical, very simplified verification environment created for a simulation VIP. You have your UVM agent, you have your driver here, which send, uh, send the transactions to the DUT, and you have a, an interface, a system Verilog interface, that is connected to the DUT. On top of the agent, you have your user test that you write. When you want to go to acceleration, and best before you even start to create, to write your environment, you need to do this. You need to slice it here and separate it into two separate test benches. One test bench we call the software test bench. It is compiled by the simulator, runs in the UVM world. The other test bench, we call it the hardware test bench. It is compiled and executed on the Palladium emulator. All these files here are synthesizable, running on the Palladium. All these files here are running on the simulator and they can contain software as well as uh, system very low code. Once you separated your test bench into two, you need to remember a few other things. First of all, don't use passive agents because our AVIPs only have uh, active agents and this is what you really need at this level of verification. Another important tip, do not access signals. So if you have any signals that you access directly here, don't do that. Use a, a unified wrapper here that can, be, uh, that can be accessed from both the AVIP and the VIP. In this, in this uh, wrapper or interface, you can select whether the agent here will be either a VIP simulation mode or an AVIP in acceleration mode. Here are some tips and tricks on how to write tests that are best optimized for acceleration. Well, first, start with a simple test, a test that will run on both the AVIP and the VIP. This test does little verification, but it sends several transactions and, and gets you going. Later on, you can add more advanced verification features in your test, but put that under a conditional code. Another important factor of the performance of your test is whether your test is reactive or batching. That means, we, do you send a transaction, then wait for a response, then send a transaction and wait for another response? This is really bad for performance when you, when you do acceleration. You need to move to batching mode, where you can batch several transa transactions, send them in one go to the DUT, then wait for all the responses and, and receive them in one go. This will give you much better performance when you run on the Palladium emulator. So, this was just a few tips and tricks in a nutshell on how to create an acceleration-ready verification environment. If you want more, more information, go to our Cadence website. Thank you for watching.